What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is just a quick little update on myself, my health, my eBay business, and a little bit about YouTube as well. So let's get right into this. Now, if I seem a little bit different today, that is not only because, yes, I did get a haircut and I feel a lot better with this new look, but it's also the first time that I recorded a video in over a month. And the reason for that is because, unfortunately, me and the family, the whole household, got COVID-19 and we've been sick and it's been a hell of a time. Terrible. At one point, I was the worst out of all of us uh, and all my symptoms were severe, so... I had a fever uh, for about seven to 10 days straight, body aches, uh, vomiting, a whole bunch of stuff, and it was terrible. The worst I felt my entire life, the worst I've been sick my entire life, and I couldn't get out of bed most days. Now, my girlfriend, who I am living with now here in Ottawa, uh, she already had her first dose of Pfizer vaccine, and her symptoms, yes, she did get COVID, but her symptoms were nowhere near mine and she wasn't anywhere near as sick as I was. So that was really good. I was glad that she wasn't as sick, but all of us are a lot better. Today was actually the first day that she went back to work in over a month. And now I'm actually able to get back into my eBay business, get other things rolling and start recording videos once again. So I'm feeling a lot better. I do have a few symptoms that are long lasting, but for the most part, I am 100% better. Um, it's just things like breathing and, and uh, being uh, dry in the throat. So I'm always bringing a water bottle anywhere I go now, even if I leave the house. And I do have two puffers to help with my breathing. So that's the only thing really with me that's been uh, ongoing since I've had COVID. And other than that, I've been great and feeling a lot better. So now moving on to my eBay business, it has been booming. Now, unfortunately, because I was sick, I had to basically close down the store for a little while and I had to cancel, I think it was six or seven orders. And that was a lot of more expensive things that I sold, uh, more expensive video games and hockey cards and things like that. So having to cancel those orders and not being able to sell and ship anything for four weeks did suck. It was a little kick to the eBay business, but so far I'm doing good. Now that I'm back, I've already shipped out four things and I already have some decent profit for May. So I'm really excited about that. Getting into back into basically a routine of buying things that I think I can flip for profit. Of course, I look everything up before purchasing and then take, take into account my fees, the shipping costs for these items. And so far I've made some pretty decent profits and I do have a lot of orders um, or offers that I've sent out and a lot of people are offering me things for my items. So hopefully I do get a lot more sales moving forward. Right now I do have about four or five PlayStation 3s various models. I have two Xbox 360s um, that should get profit. I don't have them listed yet, but they should get some pretty decent profit. Everything should get pretty decent profit because out of the video game lots, I usually tend to gravitate more towards the video game lots that include not only a console, but a bunch of video games. I found there was a Family Guy game that was around $30. I had it sold, but it's one that I had to cancel. I had another game, I had it sold as well. Uh, it's a $40 game, and then now I do have two Spider-Man games from the PS3. One is around $70, one is around $80 to $90, sometimes up. So hopefully I do get those sold because that would be profit instantly on that lot that I purchased it from. I'm trying to get more sales rolling in. I do have a Facebook page now called takedowns, video games, and more. I'll hopefully try to remember to leave that linked down below, along with my eBay store if you guys are interested. Now, because I am in Canada, if you are in the US, which I do ship and sell quite a bit to the US, if, you, if you're in the US, you have to switch over to the uh, Canadian eBay to be able to even see my store. That's one thing I found out with my buddy Jack. 
when I shared it with him, he had to do that. So just keep that in mind. I am in Canada. I do ship in Canada and the US only. If you guys are in other countries and you're interested in anything that is on my eBay store or you see on my Facebook page, I do tend to post my inventory on the Facebook page, things that I've picked up and sold and things like that. If you guys see anything, I can figure out what shipping costs is for other countries and adjust my eBay to be able to accept orders from other countries. But let me know first, um, just because I did run into a few scammers, nothing alarming, but I did have them blocked. And thankfully it was one of the orders that I did have to cancel whenever I had COVID. So in the end of the day, it did work out, but a lot more sales moving forward. I am gravitating more towards video games before I was doing a lot more different things, books, movies, basically anything that's even in thrift stores when I went and scanned looking for inventory, uh, plushies as well. I was purchasing things that I think would sell, but I've been selling more video games and hockey cards. That's what I'm gonna be sticking with moving forward when I'm finding inventory, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to make more profit moving forward. April was pretty decent because I had no expenses. Back in March, I did purchase a bunch of shipping materials, bubble wrap, uh, mailers, tape, everything I need to ship my items. April, not only because for almost four weeks I was sick and had to close the store, but I think up until maybe the end of June, early July, I won't need to get any more shipping materials, which does take a lot of expenses away from the business. Now, thankfully, all that stuff I can claim whenever it comes to tax season, but I won't need to get anything else for a while because I do purchase my uh, shipping materials in bulk. So that's been nice. So hopefully I can get more sales on eBay. That is my goal. Now this business, I'm still looking for a full-time or even a part-time job uh, because with YouTube and eBay, it's pretty good money for me right now, but it's nothing compared to a full-time job. With YouTube right now, because of some of my videos, I'm getting anywhere between 150 to 250 a month, which is great, and that's still nothing to brag about, but I'm honestly thankful for everybody, all of the support I get on my channel, and it's mostly my tech videos, my eBay flipping for profit, and my hockey card videos that get the most views and the most engagement, and I'm here to help anybody with whenever it comes to tech for different consoles and different things like that. I have one for my camera soon that I'm gonna be recording and uploading just because I found an issue with it and I think it will help other people. And that's what I like doing with my videos. So I would like to make more videos this past month. Because I've been sick, this is the first time I've been recording in a month. I don't really have any more any new YouTube ideas. So if you guys have any ideas you wanna see me do, whether it's gaming contents, how to's, different things like that, let me know down in the comments below because that will definitely help me moving forward, coming up with new ideas for videos. And I would greatly appreciate that, but definitely getting back in the routine of things with eBay moving forward, trying to get more sales, and with YouTube trying to get better quality videos for you guys. So it's quality over quantity, and hopefully that will get a little bit more revenue on the YouTube end as well. And if there's anything you guys want to see me unbox, let me know down below as well. I do have two Loot Crates coming, a Loot Crate DX, and then a welcome packet from them. For uh, Upper Deck, I do have a care package on the way because there was an order months ago that was messed up or a box that I bought that was messed up. That should be coming. Hopefully, I get some great things out of that. And I did order jerky recently, um, and we're going to be doing a taste test, me and my girlfriend, for this jerky. So different things coming to the channel. It's just a matter of when I have time to record and what other ideas I can come up with. So thank you guys for all of your love and support. Oh, and before I forget, I can't believe I didn't mention it until now, I should have started the video with this. We did hit 2,000 subscribers when I was out of commission with COVID when I was sick, and I was unable to make a video thanking you guys. I did do a post on my Facebook, or sorry, my YouTube page, because you can make posts after 1,000 subscribers, I believe. So I did make a post, but I didn't get to thank you guys in a video. So thank you guys for all of your love and support, hitting 2,000 subscribers. I think right now we're at 2,100. It's been crazy rapid subscribers coming in, and that has a lot to do with my hockey card videos, my how-to videos, my eBay videos, and my tech videos. So thank you guys for all of your love and support and everything because we could not have made it to 2,000 subscribers without you guys. You guys are the 
ones that made it possible. So thank you guys for everything you guys do, whether it's just a simple like or comments, it does help and go a long way. And even people that's, or even for some of my videos that I uploaded two years ago, even if you comment on those, I tend to reply as much as I can. Now, if it's one of the videos that have almost 500,000 views, and I get a ton of comments on them every day. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of those and reply to everything for those videos, but for some of my other videos with less views, uh, under a thousand, I can keep track of them a little bit better, and I always reply to comments on those videos. So thank you guys for all of your love and support. I just wanted to do a quick little update on my health, let you guys know that I did have COVID, and that's why I was out for uh, four weeks I did upload videos, but those are videos I recorded ahead of time in bulk because you guys know I love doing that Now I'm back recording videos once again and back with my eBay business Hopefully I can make a really good push going through May and June Get more profit and then purchase more things to sell to flip for profit So thank you guys for all of your love and support. I'm gonna leave this video here Please take care if you guys want to go and follow me and like my Facebook page It's takedowns video games and more and then also subscribe for more videos moving forward. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.